every Jew should get on their knees and beg for forgiveness for the theft of Palestine, in historic Palestine. You're saying that there's the only historic tribe Judea. There. The Romans called the land Palestine as an act of colonization. There's a context behind everything that you say that you're not including. I don't I'm like listening. what you're saying at all. Of course you don't, don't like what I'm saying because it, it counters an argument that you're trying no, to delegitimize Jewish right true. to exist. You're using suffering as political ammunition to target each other will only continue the conflict. I'm not, was your I'm not, native I'm homeland because God gave it no, to because, you 5,000 years ago? No, because that's where we lived. That's no, actually where that's we lived. Not where Why you are you screaming? Why are you screaming? <laughs> Shalom, my name is Rudy Rockman. We're outside of the 2020 APAC Policy Conference, Hebrew Year 5780. Our mission is to engage with the protesters outside, to break out of our echo chambers, and to either expose anti-Semitism or to create genuine, nuanced conversations in order to write a better future together. Let's see what we get. Yalla. How's everything? Last year. Oh yeah? Did we have a conversation last year? Uh, might have. Okay, so what's your stance on why you're here today? I'm here because I oppose the illegal occupation that Israel perpetrates on the Palestinians, the continued human rights violations, the confiscation of lands with the illegal settlements, the uh, torturing and uh, imprisonment of people without uh, uh, cause or even charging them. Um, what else? Everybody should be protesting these things. Okay, so and all these people. So before be. addressing this thing, are you also against the murders of Jews and the removal of Very Jews from much. their lands? So it's not just for yes. Palestinians; it's for people in the land. Okay, so let me just tell you about yes. that. Yes. Israel has a, a, an uneven power in this region. Currently, currently, because oh, it, wait a minute. because until yes. '67, it was the uneven let, let power. Me finish. Israel is the one who is illegally occupying Palestine. Wait a minute. Israel is in the one who is in violation of international law. What, Israel is but the explain, one who wait, wait, uh, but Let's break rights. down each one. Okay. First of all, before we get into the illegal, okay? Explain to me how Israel occupies land. How Israel occupies land? Yes. First Which land, all, first of all, are you talking about? First Just the West Bank or Israel I'm today? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about mainly right now. I'm talking about the West Bank. Okay. But honestly, every Jew should get on their knees and beg for forgiveness for the theft of Palestine. But at this point, there's no two-state solution. So it's all one country, and it was always one country. Okay. So can I respond to you? I don't believe Not in. Really, it. you're interviewing me. So you're no, no. I'm, I want to have a conversation, oh, want... real conversation okay. between real okay. two human beings okay. that actually care for the people there. Okay. So I don't believe in a two-state solution. Okay, but in the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, you have a three-part division of the land. Area A, Area B, and Area C. Right. right? The Palestinians control completely Area A. There's a mutual control of Area B, and Israel controls completely First Area all, C. There's no, there's no complete con control of any part Area of Area A is completely controlled no, by, by the Palestinians. It is. No, it, it is. It, they, they control they it militarily it. and municipality-wise. Okay. They may control, the, the government may control, the people are not free. They oh, not they're not, people. because the Palestinian they, Authority is on its 15th year of their four-year term. The Palestinian Authority does not really represent the I Palestinians. I don't like the Palestinian Authority. Me neither. But I'm telling you. But they're in Israel the control of Area A. is in violation of Palestinian human rights. Not, okay. not... Wait a that's Not another topic. That's another topic. Let's let's focus on one. How does the fact that Jews live in their native homeland? This guy is it with APAC. I'm not. Was your I'm not. I'm not. Homeland because God gave it no, to because, five thousand years ago. No, because that's ago. where we lived. That's no, actually where that's we lived. Not where Why you are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Where is your family from? My family's from Judea. Not, no, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. The Jews Where's your grand, great grandfather from? Where they were born or where they yes. come from? Where are they from? Where, where they where, where they born. from is from Judea. Yeah. Where were they born? Where they born is not where they're from because they were displaced from the land. The same way Palestinians are born elsewhere today, you wouldn't say that that's where they're from, right? So just because my family was displaced from my homeland, do not say that that's where they're from. It wasn't your homeland. It, it was Palestine. So what? Who, who named the land there. Palestine? It was always Palestine. But at some point, there, sh there was a, a, a someone that called the land Palestine. You know what? Your your reasoning, I think you're very but I'm, delusional. I'm and asking I think you. I'm asking you a think, genuine no, question. I, I, no, I don't think you're being really genuine. I'm, who you named know, the land Palestine? You I can't answer know. it, so you're telling I, me I'm delusional. I, the I, Romans I, called the land Palestine. This was 500 years before the birth of Islam. And they named it so? because it was Judea before. There was a civilization of the Jewish people and the Romans there conquered was, that but land. They weren't the majority. There were other. There were no, other, oh, 2,000 yes, years there were, ago. There were other no, you're mixing oh, up yes, your facts now. Were, no, you're mixing up no, your facts. 2,000 no, years ago. You're lying. Two, the you Philistines are from the island of Crete, off no, of Greece. No, there were other tribes there besides the, Who? the, the Israelites. Oh, so now you admit that the Jews were there. Oh, yeah, they were there. Okay, so, so all right, now we've already tribe. gone somewhere. Oh, absolutely. Who was the first tribe there? I, I don't know who the first tribe I mean, the Jews tribe. aren't in a tribe. There are 12 tribes, but, but they, who was the they, first people there? I don't know who the first tribe there Okay, were, so his, 
historically, when you find, you dig in the land and you look at historical records of other nations that have poured in, they talk about the Jewish people being there. The Roman Empire I colonized. I'm not disputing that the Jewish people were there. Okay, the Roman but Empire. But they weren't the only ones there that they the Roman to be. The Roman Empire conquered Judea. They killed Jesus, okay, and they renamed the land Palestine. This is 500 years before the birth of Islam. Why is that important? Because Arabs spread from Arabia through Islam. So Arabs had not lived look, in that land yet. Look, buddy. I'm a Christian. My name is Rudy, by the way. You can oh, refer to me. My name is Joanne. I just okay. don't like the way you're, you're reasoning. I think you're twisting the truth. And uh, no, I don't no. think you're listening. I'm, I am no, listening. You listen. No, you listen. Go, go. I don't I'm like listening. what you're saying at all. Of course you don't, don't like what I'm saying because it, it counters an argument that you're trying no, to delegitimize Jewish right to exist. No, it's not. It's, the, it's your <coughs> You said two seconds ago that the Jews didn't exist there, and then now you say that they do. The European Jews were They're from not European. All of They're oh, from yes, Judea. They were, they were displaced That's into nonsense. Europe. Nonsense. So you're saying that the, the they were Ashkenazi one, Jews? They were one of the tribes in Palestine. They were one of them. You are trying to claim that it was all. What do you mean Jews Ashkenazi there? are not one tribe? They're not That's a tribe. Right. I'm not talking about Ashkenazi. I'm talking about the tribes in in, in uh, Palestine, okay. in ancient and historic Palestine. You're saying that there's the only historic tribe Judea. There. The Romans called the land Palestine as an act of colonization. The land was called Judea. Like historically, if you look at no, records, it was, yes, it maybe was. Maybe it was in the Torah, but no. No, no. I'm not. I've never mentioned the Torah. No. I'm definitely not think, using the Torah as a source. So. I don't think you're accurate. So uh, I it's that important you that you said that you think because you don't know. So that's at least we're being honest here. But if you look at historical I mean, records of, of empires that had lived in the region or had con con conflict with people in the region, they refer to it as Judea. The Jews do, and you're the only and people I'm that And I'm saying other that. nations. <laughs> I'm saying other nations that had conflicts or had trade or had conversations. It, it wasn't all Jews there, though. It yes, there were non-Jews living there as well. I, no, I never said were, that. They were the minority. No, actually. you're talking about 1948 no, and before that. I'm talking about 2,000 years ago. You're talking about 2,000 years ago, the, the Jews were a minority. You're talking about historic Palestine. Uh, historic Judea. I'm talking before the Romans called it Palestine. You're saying that that time when it was Judea that... We don't need your help. Thank you. You're saying that at that time, the majority were not the Jews living in Judea? That's right. <laughs> Based on what? That's right. Based on what? Because if it's a narrative... Jews are not a tribe. There Jews are other, twelve they tribes. Were from the Israeli tribes. Right. No. No. Is, yes. yes. There's did. twelve tribes under Israel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The but civil. They were not the only tribes. But see, you what other tribes lived there? There were other tribes. What tribes? I. You know. Other. Other. I know, I know that the Philistines lived there. The and there were like do you know? The, do you know the history of the Philistines? Up, but I know that that I know that the Israelites were not, or or the twelve other tribes were not the first ones. Do there. you know? And <laughs> even if they were, yeah. Israel is now now in modern Israel. They're in contempt of international law. How? How? Okay. Let, let's talk about that. Oh, just but like, you know, explain it. Frustrated talking to you. Because, Why? Look, if you're Palestinian, you're really and if you're Palestinian, if you're Palestinian, I'm Israeli. The reality is that there's no future in the land without both of our populations finding a way. I'm trying to figure out a way for us to break down certain ideas and to stick on one. So if we talk about illegal occupation, if you talk about, uh, you know, laws being but, like. But everything I say, you act like it's, you don't know, like the first time you've heard it. No, it's not the first really time I've heard it. But it. but there's a context behind everything that you say that you're not including. So you said that it's illegal according to UN national UN law, right? International. What international law does it does it violate specifically? It violates um, occupying a country by force and by uh, after a war they are not allowed to occupy a country and they have the occupiers have every uh, it's incumbent on them to uh, protect the inhabitants of that country so can but I Israel is in violation of that so I, I heard your point can I answer you back and I'm not trying to speak over you See, I, but your premise is that there was never no a no no so my, my, my premise every, my premise is at the end of the day there's no future without either of our population so it's important that we have these real conversations because okay. most people are trying to fight each other and I'm not trying to fight there's a lot I disagree with you there's a lot you disagree with me but I'm trying to figure things out the reason why it's not violating international law is one hold up I listen okay. to your point right for me it was also I didn't agree with it okay is one, the Jewish people are not a foreign power, they're a native population, and according to that law, if it's a war that is fought defensively, meaning if you are attacked, you are allowed to take land and annex it. That's not true. It is true. No, you have not read the law. That's not the true. law states that if it's a defensive war, you are allowed First to make it as part of your defensive. land. It was. All the Arab countries around Israel attacked Israel to ethnically cleanse the Jewish population. Oh my God. What do you, you mean? Oh my you're God. Delusional. I think How am I delusional? Help. Yeah, I think there's no. So, so because I think you're very warped in your thinking and in your uh, knowledge and, of and, the situation. And so you're and you're very open-minded. I I am open to justice. I am I'm too. I'm open to truth. 
I'm open to somebody who expresses the truth. But yes. You are not, I'm sorry to say, expressing the truth. I You're mean, that's very like biased and one-sided because anyone can say that, that they disagree. And yet I'm trying to have a reasonable conversation. I've never lift, elevated my voice coming to you. Okay, let me just ask you this. Yes. Do you agree with the, the human abuses that they perpetrate on the Palestinians I, every day? I believe that both populations are experiencing vast amounts of injustices that I'm against the status like, like quo. What? Like I'll tell you on both sides. I've lost four friends in one summer and Palestinians from, from Palestinians. Not all Palestinians, but Palestinians that go and went and killed them, okay? That doesn't define all Palestinians, that defines those individuals. And there are Palestinians living in Gaza and in the West Bank, Judea and Samaria, where they don't have access to movement, they don't have access to resources, and that exists, and that has to end. However, using suffering as political ammunition to target each other will only continue the conflict. If Israel wants to protect their security, then they need to give the Palestinians their human rights and dignity and equal equal share in the country. It needs to be one country with equal rights and, and equality for everyone. I agree that it should be one civilization with everyone living That's there right. equally. That's right. I believe in that. Well, but are you, are you are you okay with that. it being called Israel? You know, I, they could rename it something like I don't know. But that's important for us. Well, it's also important for the Palestinians. So. For what? For it to not be called Israel? That's not true. It's not your country. You know, it is, really because, not, because it was our civilization that was taken away and it was revived no, it in 1948. No, it but you, you agreed that it... No. You agree that I'm not going to go before. back to age of civilization with you, but at so, least we so agree why do you, that, that, that the Palestinians deserve... Uh, we agree that also the Jews, correct? Uh, oh, of course. Okay, Everybody. so every human being living in that land should live equally in that land. Okay. Absolutely. We agree on that. We have one point. Yeah, I mean but the future, which is the most important. Maybe a half an hour, but... No, I'm not here to speak on behalf of APAC. Like I'm, I'm press going to APAC, interviewing different people to see their opinions. But what I, what I want to tell you is that a lot of people on both of our sides never have real conversations, are not able to see the humanity in one another, and because of that, we speak over each other, and we don't actually find ways to move forward. You know, I, I think that can be true. But I think in, in like when governments get together and people like Jared Kushner who drafts something so absurd I'm and, the, and, the and illegal, line. do you how do you expect the Palestinians to sit down and and and, and uh, take this? Seriously? I think Israelis and Palestinians have to come together and prevent any foreign power from coming and imposing solutions onto our people. Well, they also need to stop the the aid. To Israel, I'm against that too. Three, three billion a year. But it's not actual money. It's uh, making Israel no, dependent on the no. Yeah. It's credit for buying weapons, which I'm against. Worse. I'm against the U.S. foreign aid to Israel. Yes. Point number two, we agree on. Right. Well, I'm glad. So as I'm as we break glad. as we break things down, we, we realize that so many of the things that we ultimately believe, not necessarily historically, but in the future, both of our populations actually mostly agree on things. And the reason we haven't figured this out is we haven't had those conversations. So can we shake hands at least? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for. Rudy, well, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting Israel. Thank you so much for standing up for the Jewish people. Um, is it okay if I take a selfie sure. with you? Of course. You? I saw you and I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh man, I watch you all the time. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah.